If you've ever wanted to know how I created this kind of video, or even this one, then stay tuned to this video because I'm going to show you. Hey everyone, it's Edie, your video and YouTube strategist, and today I am coming in with an answer to one of my frequently asked questions, which is, how do I create videos like the one that you're watching right now? So in today's video, I'm going to dedicate this video into showing you exactly how I do it. First thing that you need to know is that I'm using the screen recording and editing program Camtasia. And then more specifically, I'm using the visual effects feature within Camtasia in order to create these videos. Additionally, I'll be using two apps. One's called Mirroring 360, and that's so that I can record my screen on my computer. And the second is called TechSmith's Capture, and that will enable me to capture footage directly onto my phone that I'll then be able to transfer to Camtasia at a later date. And I'll show you both now. So step number one, you need to record something. What you record is totally up to you. It could be you speaking directly to the camera as I'm doing right now, or you can record your screen if you wanna walk someone through, say for example, a website or some sort of an app that's on your computer. In this example, I just have Microsoft Teams opened up, and if I wanted to walk someone through how to use this, I could certainly do that. The third option is if you want to walk someone through how to use a specific app on your phone. Now, in order to do that, you'll need to use something called Mirroring 360. Now, there are a plethora of apps that are out there that allow you to record your screen. If you want to do that, then you can use this app. It's called Mirroring 360 and it allows you to use your computer in order to project or mirror what's on your phone onto your computer screen. And then you can use the platform that I'm using right now, Camtasia, in order to capture that. So I could actually walk someone through how to use whatever app it is on my phone by just going through the steps. So what I'm gonna do in this creative example is I'm gonna talk about the second app that I mentioned, which is called TechSmith Capture. It is an app specifically for TechSmith products, and you can see it right here. It's the white icon. So we're gonna click on that, and I cannot actually show you how to use it right now because my computer is already mirroring my phone. So you can't do two things at the same time. But what I did before was I did a really quick 30 second test so that you can see what it looks like when you're going to use this. So I'm gonna click on the top video so that you can see that's how the broadcast was started. And then after your broadcast begins, you'll be able to record any application that's on your phone. Everything that you see right now has been recorded and is on my phone. And then I can use TechSmith's capture to then send this footage to Camtasia. So that's one way of doing it. The second way is the way that I'm doing it right now, which is using Mirroring 360, which mirrors my phone to my computer and then allows me through either Camtasia or any screen recording software program to then record everything that I need to. So that's how I record my phone and that's how I record myself or anything that's on my computer screen. So step two is that we're now ready to import our footage into Camtasia. So this is where all of your footage is going to come. This is called the media bin. It's very familiar in any editing platform that you'll use is gonna be the centralized place where all of your footage your images and your audio tracks will be housed throughout the project that you're working on. So in order to get started, you wanna click on import media and that's gonna open up your desktop so that you can pull your footage from the file that you need to pull it from. So there is some raw footage that I used that I'm going to bring into this particular project. And then actually I am recording um, as we speak, I am recording this footage. So as soon as I'm finished recording this footage, 
This recording is actually going to be automatically added to the media bin as well. So you can't see that until I am finished. Now to transfer this footage that's in TechSmith Capture to my Camtasia account, all I need to do is highlight the video and then click on the bottom button that says share. And then I can choose where I want it to be exported to. Let's transfer it to Camtasia. And then it's going to ask me which one I want. And then I have to connect it It's not sharing anymore, but it's done. So as you can see, the footage has arrived here. So I've gotten in all of my footage and then we're going to go on to step number three. So in step number three, we're now going to drag everything to the timeline. So let's start with just some of this footage. So I'll just bring this down. I'm not going to use everything. I'm just going to actually clip this off here because I just want to show this as an example. Then all I would need to do is come up here to where all of the effects are located and go to visual effects. And when you open up the visual effects, there's a number of things that you can do. But what I want to do is use the device frame and I can do one of two things. I can drag this to the canvas where my uh, footage is, or I can drag it down to the timeline. Whichever one I want to choose is going to do the same thing. And voila, immediately within Camtasia, it automatically puts it into a device. Then I can come over here to my properties window and I can choose under device frame the type of device I want to use. So if I wanted to use a MacBook Pro, I could do that. And then there are a couple of other choices that I have in terms of what's going on in the background. So this is sort of a generic um, corporate office, maybe type of background. If I wanted more of a creative looking space, I could do that. Or do I have any other ones? If I wanted a generic um, warehouse type of a look, then that would be what I'd be able to use. So literally it's as simple as that. And I just export it as is if I use the entire video this way. Camtasia has a lot of other elements that I'll show you in another video of things that you can add on to your video in order to make it look a lot more professional. But for the most part, I use this sort of as B-roll because I'll usually use this inside of another video. So now let me show you how I do this with a mobile device. So here is the footage that we did in Capture. So as you can see, it is designated in the vertical format. So I do the same thing with visual effects. I will drag this over, but as you can see, it looks really weird because that's a vertical on a desktop. So let's try to switch this over to iPhones. So as you can see, it looks a little bit better, but you can't really see it that well. So in this instance, I need to bring this down as small as possible. And then I'm just going to open up the frame of this just so I can fit it perfectly where I need to be fitted. So then I go back up here and I fit to window and there is my footage. So let's go back to the beginning so that you can see what this looks like. And there you go. So that's how I use it for my iPhones or for my smartphones because they have other devices over here. They have the Google Pixel. It looks like there and then I can have the iPhone in different places. This is only the iPhone 8. Um, I'll have to check to see if they have any newer iPhones and they don't usually have a whole bunch of different Androids. So you're pretty limited. So this one can be used if you wanted, say for example, you were 
either advertising that you had an app and you wanted to promote it, you could have this playing and then you can have text on this side of the screen. There's also a template where the phone is on the right side of the screen as well. So these are two options that you have within Camtasia and this could be a standalone video. The other one could be a standalone video as well or it could be a video that you incorporate into another video, which is more often than not um, what I tend to do. It's very rare that I'll use a video in its entirety um, this way. So now the next thing that you need to do is when you're finished, let's say we like this and this is what we wanted to use, you come up here to share and then you can either go to local file or you can share it or send it to a number of places, one of which is their own uh, proprietary hosting site, which is called screencast.com. You can do a TechSmith video review if you have a client and you need or a team that you're working with and you want them to review the video, you have an option to that to do that. You can send it directly to Vimeo or to YouTube or to your Google Drive. I'm going to save this to my local drive and then I'll tell it specifically where I want it to go and then I'll just save it. Um, there, but I'm not going to save it in this example. So I hope you found this video helpful and useful. And if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to comment below. If you are new to Camtasia and you want to try it out, there is a 30 day free trial that they offer. You can click my link below to get started. If you're ready to purchase, they are now out with 2020. So Camtasia 2020 has a lot more bells and whistles. They have video templates. They have a whole bunch of things that might be even more useful to you than Camtasia 2019. Feel free to test it out and then definitely purchase it using the link below. So thank you for being here as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye.